anemones give us techniques for combining colors in interesting ways in our designs. And I'm going to quickly go over a couple of color harmonies that you may see when you're looking at designs and that you may want to use when you're making your own designs. Now the first color harmonies technique is the idea of an analogous color scheme. An analogous color scheme is a color scheme that chooses colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So if we were to make a design that had reddish orange, red, reddish purple, and purple, that would be an analogous color scheme. A complementary color scheme is a color scheme that uses colors that are on opposite ends of the color wheel. So if you were to choose orange and blue, these colors are opposite ends of the color wheel, so they would be a complementary color scheme. Same for green and red, same for yellowish green and reddish violet. Because they are opposite ends of the color wheel, um, they are complementary colors. And here's another handy tip. If you mix complementary colors in equal parts when you're working with real pigment and pa paint, you can make pure gray. So if you're ever painting, doing some watercolor, you run out of black and white, if you mix two complementary colors in equal parts, you'll get pure gray. And complementary colors are a great way to desaturate, to lessen the impact of a color if it's too prominent in a design. You mix in the complementary color, it minimizes, it reduces the impact of that color. Okay, so analogous are colors that are next to each other. Complementary are colors that are opposite ends of the color wheel. You can also pick a triangle or triad color scheme. This is when you pick colors that are equal distance from each other on the color wheel. So our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, if you mix, use those three colors in a color scheme, that would be like a triad color scheme and it might be really vibrant and it's interesting. Another triad color scheme would be, you know, just move this triangle around. So then you could get reddish orange, greenish yellow, and violet. Put those three colors in a color scheme. You have a really dynamic, interesting color scheme. Okay, and uh, you can also create a, a rectangle or a square on your color wheel and choose four colors that are equal distance apart from each other on the color wheel. And you can also get another really interesting color scheme that way. So it's a really great way to visualize different colors. Now let's just practice putting this idea into practice. I just made this quick kind of wallpaper design. And if I want to make a complementary color scheme, for example, I'll get out my gradient map adjustment layer and now I'm going to choose on my gradient two colors that are opposite ends of the color wheel. So let's pick red and green so we can make a complementary color scheme. Now this is an example of a complementary color scheme but it's not a good design. And the reason this is not a good design is because the two colors that we chose are equal in terms of value, right? So what makes a color scheme effective is if you increase the value or the darkness of one color in your color scheme and decrease the value or darkness 
of the other color in the color scheme. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to change this red to a really, really light red, also known as pink. Light red is, is pink, it's the same thing. And I'm going to change this green to a really, really dark green. Now, this is a complementary color scheme that's working. We aren't just choosing two colors that are on opposite ends of the color wheel. Now, we're manipulating the colors so that they are of different values and it makes the color scheme that much more effective. Now, let's just for kicks see what this looks like in reverse. I think I like that one a lot better.